Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 28th, 29th, 30th, and July 1st. So that is Monday through Thursday. Now, when I'm reading for the Monday through Thursday, of course, I'm using my Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel, um, Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my um, Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Okay, now I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come out, it just pops out, and it's really best when I don't try to understand it. That's when, we, that's when I get into a little bit of trouble. Anyway... Anything that is reversed, to me, has stronger energy. So just remember that, too. Now, we're going to go on and see, because the 27th, Venus went into Leo. So there's going to be a lot of energy around emotions, possibly even love, relationships. Because Leo is about, you know, Leo's all heart, and Leo's going to go into this, you know, you know, doesn't, Leo jumps and just jumps right into this. But again, you know, if this is something very positive, it's going to feel warm and fuzzy. If it's something very emotionally struggling, it's going to feel like a struggle. So that's, you know, so there's some good stuff with Venus going into Leo. I'd say 80% will be more that positive, but there will be that 20% that's going to be a little more um, stretching of the emotions. Now, also too, in the long readings, the overview that I did for cancer, and that's on all of the cancer long readings. So, you know, if you have, you know, whatever your sign is, I did, I think, a 30-minute, you know, introduction. Talk about the 30th through, I think, the 10th of July, that there will be some very interesting energy going on at that time. If you want to know more, just go back. But go back to that other video. But let's go on. We're just going to do an overview. Oh, and the card is already flying with this. Okay. And we're just going to do an overview with my Radley Val... I'm sorry, with my Weight Rider traditional tarot cards for the week. Just to see what's happening. So we have the Knight of Wands. Knight's underlying energy is fire. Okay. Wands is fire. So that's our Leo Sagittarius and it's also our Aries energy. This could be something to do with that Venus going into Leo because the night, okay, remember, nights are always directional. Once they have it in their mind where they want to go, they go. The wands, the fire energy, the, it's all heart, it's all passion, it's I am all in on this. So there is something that's going to be, you know, that's going to really pull got to pull kind of the universal energy and say I am all in and I am going after this with a passion I am not backing down this is what I want to do now I do feel like there could be some foolish games going on with the knight of wands also I don't know if the knight is actually doing the foolish games or if the or if there's foolish games around I do feel that this is going to be one of those weird energy weeks too so let's go on and see what the other two cards will be. We'll just pull, you know, there's going to be the three. But remember, the Knight of Wands, oh, just mad dash in, mad dash in, jumping in, both feet, not even thinking. But except that the Wands, you know, while there is this strong passion, the Wands do know, fire signs do know where they're going, where they want, or at least they know what they want as the outcome. Okay? Okay, so let's see next card. Okay, so now that one is reversed, a little stronger energy. We have that seven, and you know that's the divine number. That has that divine, un, you know, that divine um, umbrella. A lot of times we do what we need to do, and then, you know, some, and some, many times over the universe, your divine, higher power, the source, whoever that is to you, kind of takes over. This is the seven of cups. This is all about choices. This is all about, it, it's like, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Where do I go? What am I wanting to do? But this is all about choices, choices being offered to you. Choices that are not necessarily, um, you know, I don't really see anything here that's a negative choice, but there is choices, things opening up with your choices. Okay, next card. And this one is reversed. 
Again, so these have some strong energies. This has a strong energy because it popped. But this is the King of Cups. Now, King's underlying energy is air, swords. That's, you know, Gemini, Lib Libra. It's also Aquarius. And there is a lot of things to think about with this. There is some planning to do. There is seeing, seeing, be, you know, seeing beyond the um, illusions again. Okay, I know I talk about that um, in in past readings, but this is seeing more the truth. Cups is emotional. Cups is our Cancer, and I didn't say it with this. It's our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Fluid, very emotional. We are in Cancer season, so. Can't, this week is going to bring about a lot of choices that, you know, our energies are going to be like, let's go in, let's get this done, I want this, this is where I want to go. The King of Cups is, has gone through the emotional ringer, okay, has gone, has gone through the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, has gone through high, um, high emotional um, euphoria to the depths of, you know, almost hellish despair okay but the king of cups has come out so much better the king king of cups understands where you know understands where the pieces are going so the king of cups does pull everything to, together the king of cups is about follow your heart you know i know the ups the downs i have gone i have made bad decisions i have made wonderful decisions i have the you know the divine has worked through me to make wonderful decisions also I've had some lessons to learn, but the King of Hearts still comes out optimistic. The King of Hearts still says, follow your heart. So there is a lot of energies going on this week that all seem very, very positive, which, you know, is it, you know, we're in a very weird state right now. We're in a very weird, um, you know, you, when I say state, universal state, um, metaphysical state. But th this all seems to me very possible, but po um, positive. This, though, is very emotional commitment, though, too. So let's go on now. So that's kind of where the overview is. Um, I do, that Knight of Wands, I do feel like there's a little bit of foolishness with the Knight of Wands. I feel like some of the choices is a little bit um, kind of, uh, maybe not as thought out as, as you, we could have done. But that's okay. That is okay. Now, let us start our readings hello my sages how are you okay let's see what we have here i feel like this should be a whimsical week for you have fun this week okay let's i feel like you should be laughing more and just you know just just having more fun here we are one two and three all three cards are face down but they're also reversed so strong stuff here let's see what we have for my Sagittarius's first card the Knight of Ariel well Knight's underlying energy is your energy and also Aries and Leo so passionate burning determined but Ariel is all about work work home this is earth energy this is our Virgo our Capricorn it's also our Taurus. It's, you know, work, home, solid energy. A lot of times has to do with our money, how we make our money, how we create our money. So while I want you to have a little fun, the cards are kind of saying you are passionate and you are directed towards how you're going to make that money. Possibly this could be a new, um, a new I don't want to say job, um, because if it, it would be a new promotion, possibly, because I feel like the job situation is pretty stable, but it could be a new um, promotion, or it could be a new venture that you do in addition to whatever your job is. But it's something that's really kind of working around in your mind a little bit. You're thinking about some alternative ways to make money. Yeah, but again, it could be a promotion within it. It's just a little alternative. It's just a little tweaking from what you're doing now. Very direct, you know, the nights are very directional. We talked about that in the introduction. What, going after what you want. And this has your passion in it and your fire. But it also has that, I want, you know, I don't want it just in that supernatural. I want the reality of it too. So, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. I want you to have more fun this week. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. Next card. 
Six of Michael. Michael is that air energy, that sword energy, and we talked about that in the beginning. Your thought processes, your words, hearing news. It's Aquarius, Libra, it's Gemini type of energy. Six is the number of man. It's what you make of the situation. So a lot of the things you've been pushing through, pushing through, pushing through. Now it feels like, you know, it feels like the wall is crumbling down. Maybe there's been a glass ceiling again. You know, maybe there's been a glass ceiling and now there's a, the glass ceiling. You've been pushing, pushing, pushing. And a lot of it has been through your own hard work because that night of Ariel is saying this is through some hard work of yours. So the, again, but I, I again, I, I feel like there's a little tweaky thing with this whatever that means. But this is now, it's like the glass ceiling breaks, the wall breaks, the door opens, however you want to, whatever metaphor you want to use with this. But I feel like with the, with the Knight of Air and the Six of Michael, it's like you've been pushing, you've been doing a lot of hard work, and finally, it, um, you know, you can stumble through the door. Here, we, the door opens. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Here we go, last card. The seven of Raphael. So sevens have that divine energy, divine number. You do what you need to do, and then you let the universe, your source, the divine, um, whoever that is to you, kind of take over. Raphael is your water energy. It is your cancer. We're in cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, fluid. It's very emotional. So when all of this starts to happen, when all of this starts to happen and you've pushed through and you've accomplished what you've needed or you hear about your accomplishments, there could be some choices with this. And sometimes we work really hard for what we want and then when it's offered, we find out it might not necessarily be what we want, but it may also be exactly what we want. But the Seven of Raphael is giving you some decisions. The, the Seven of Raphael is giving you those choices. So remember, remember in the introduction that there were choices, and they seem to be very, very positive. So the Seven of Raphael is saying, now that you've gotten, you've pushed through, you've worked things through, you, you know, you have really gone after what you want, now there's choices. What, what is it that you did want? Where do you want to go now? So this is the Seven of Cups, like the introduction said to. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. So you might need to take that rest. You might need to kind of, you know, again, step back, have a little bit more fun. Because this, the night of Ariel is like, you know, you've been, you've been working hard. You've been working hard. So it might, you might need to take a little bit of a breath, a breather, you know, and, and do something with that right brain, left brain energy. Here we go. Because what is it? The um, left brain is the detail-oriented, and the right brain is your creativity. So be, you you need to use both of them so that you can kind of um, re-energize the other. Last card, the Ace of Water. So water energy again. One Aces are ones, new beginnings, new starts. So we have a six seven one. Those could have some interesting numbers to look up in your browser. You know, six seven one angel numbers. Um, in fact, I think I would look those up if I were you, but this is, this is a new relationship. This is a new, um, you know, a new emotional commitment, whatever, you know, so this, I mean, this feels very much, I don't know, is this a, again, the job itself, I don't necessarily know that this is a new company or a new career, career in itself. It may be that you take your, you know, it could be that you do go to a new company, but you're doing, you're doing what you did, but now you have a promotion. I feel very much promotion type of energy here. Okay. Now this could be with your present company. It could also be with your, with this other company too. And I think those are some of your choices here. Now the Ace of Water though is that new relationship and this relationship is going to be emotionally committed, but it could also be any of those relationships I talk about your work, job, career personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, or home. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. Yeah, so there, there are some, you know, it, like you, you, break, you broke through, the door opens, you broke through the glass ceiling, the gla or, you, you know, the wall, you've tumbled the wall down, whatever's been keeping you. There's, a lo there's breakthrough. This is basically all about breakthrough energy here. 
And then the breakthrough gives you choices. And you, it does feel like you will make some choices. You will, I do feel that by Friday you'll know, you'll know which direction you want to go in. Okay, what energy or crystal would be good for my Sagittarius's? This one, not reversed. Earth energy. I would li I like that for you because earth energy goes back to that aerial energy. You know, that's really ground yourself. Get your feet, you know, if it's not too cold out wherever you're at. I know in the northern hemisphere it's summer, but in the uh, southern hemisphere it is winter. Maybe dig up a little bit of earth. Carry some earth in a little baggie or something for you. But earth energy is about your money energy. It is about your career energy. So abundance, fertility, harvesting, logic. And with harvesting, it's, it's kind of like all the work you've put in it's now, it's, it's time for you to harvest. It's time for you to reap your, re, your, reap your rewards. How's that? <sighs> so, my Sagittarius is, remember the button. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, notifications. The most important thing, though, for you, my Sagittarius, is, is to know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.